guys welcome to keeping it simple crafts thank you so much for clicking on my channel today we will be making a fall yardstick door swag if you want to you can spray paint your yardstick before you begin but I am just adding pipe cleaners to my yardstick I'm just wrapping them around the yardstick and giving them a few twists about every four to five inches and you'll want to drill a hole in the top of your yardstick so that you can hang it up. You just thread a piece of wire through it, make a loop, and hang it up. Okay, next I am adding the 10 inch deco mesh, and you'll need two rolls because it takes about one and a half. I am just making a loop with my hand and holding it tight, and I am going to press the deco mesh down to the yardstick and twist the pipe cleaner around the loop. And you're going to want to keep making your loops all the way down your yardstick. Try to make the loops about the same size each time, about 10 inches or so. And kind of roll the outer edges inward when you make your loop or puff, poof, whatever you like to call them. So you'll go all the way down it and then you're going to go all the way back so that's nice and full and fluffy. So just make sure you fluff it and spread it out too. And if you don't like the way it looks, take it out and redo it. I usually make a yardstick door swag about every season. And if you don't want to use it as a door swag, these look so pretty as a centerpiece on your dining room table or even up high on your mantle. They look really pretty as a garland. So lots of options right here. On the end, I just made another loop or puff, poof, whatever you want to call it, so that each end matches. So you'll have two poofs on the top, two poofs on the bottom when you get your deco mesh finished because you're making a double layer so that it's nice and full. Now you could go back with some six inch deco mesh, lots of ribbons, there's all kinds of things you can add to it. It just kind of depends on how much you want to spend. When you get your door swag finished, you might want to take and cut some strips of felt and cover the back of the yardstick so that it does not scratch your door or your table. It takes a little bit of time to get your deco mesh on, but just try to make your loops the same size each time. And this is just with the one layer right here, so it looks a lot better when it's double. So you can tell a difference with the two layers. You don't really, can't tell there's a yardstick under it now. Lots of people like to spray paint their yardsticks, but I just didn't have any in the color I wanted. I only had white and royal blue spray paint, so I knew that wouldn't work. I picked out six floral picks for my little bouquet and I think all of them except for one came from Dollar Tree. I really think the white flowers came from Walmart and they're 97 cents at Walmart. Actually the cattails also came from Walmart. So Dollar Tree and Walmart. So six floral picks is what you'll need and you'll want to have a zip tie close by or some floral stem wire. Some people like to use the floral stem wire and then add the green floral tape over it but I don't get along too well with the floral tape, so I usually do the zip tie. Just make sure you get your bouquet nice and tight, and then trim off the extra part of the zip tie that sticks out. Okay, what I did was I just kind of placed it down from the top loop, and I am just going where I added a pipe cleaner originally, wrapping another pipe cleaner around it. Now I added two pipe cleaners, and then I went back and added a zip tie. I zip tied my bouquet to the yardstick so that it would not move. And you'll want to have some ribbon with wire because you'll be tying a couple bows. So make sure you just kind of spread out and fluff your bouquet. You could add flowers throughout your swag if you wanted to. But here I am just tying a bow and I just let out kind of a long tail. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, making the loops the same size on each side. And I did three loops on the left, three on the right, let out a tail, and you'll want to have some floral stem wire close by to wrap around the center of your bow. Okay, 
and you can pick up the floral stem wire at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, places like that. And it's not very expensive, especially at Walmart. You, you can get a small package for around 97 or 98 cents. And I just buy the 20 gauge floral stem wire. So make sure you get the wire wrapped tightly around the center of your bow and then fluff your loops. And you'll want to use the wire from your bow to wrap around the deco mesh and secure it to the back of your yardstick. Just give the wire a few twists and then cut off the extra wire that sticks out. Make sure when you're adding things to your door swag that you do not change the shape of your deco mesh loops. So make sure you're not squeezing them down and making them tiny. Make sure you leave them full and fluffy. So if you have to thread floral stem wire through the deco mesh, thread it through before you go to the back and give it a few twists. And I made a bow for the bottom also. The top one's triple, the bottom one I just did a double one and didn't make the loops nearly as big. This is only the 1.5 inch width ribbon. If you wanted a lot fuller, fluffier bow, you could go with like the three inch or 3.5 inch width ribbon. And this ribbon right here is from Sam's Club. It's actually Christmas ribbon, but I've used it for Halloween and for fall. So it's only like $6 and something a roll, a large roll at Sam's Club. If you get a chance to go there, check for their Christmas ribbon. And here I'm just taking the ribbon and just going from pipe cleaner to pipe cleaner, leaving, leaving the ribbon loops loose. You don't want to pull it tight. So you can kind of zigzag however you want to do it. You could cut it in like say nine inch strips and put it in the pipe cleaner you could use two or three different prints of ribbon and make a little bundle and then attach it to the pipe cleaner so all kinds of options but I just kept it simple so I just went with the ribbon one time down my wreath and I made a loop at the end and then I decided I needed another bow so I just tied the double bow for the bottom and I left out a little tail not too long but now you could add some flowers um, to the bottom too if you wanted to. And you can make this for any season. I usually make them for Easter, Valentine's Day, Christmas, you know, all the seasons. So you don't have to just make this for fall. And I am thinking about starting on Christmas wreaths and decorations really soon. I just can't wait. I know Hobby Lobby has a lot of pretty decorations already out. Okay, so I just attached the bow the same way I did as the top one. Just fluff your loops. Sometimes you have to fluff your loops several times. And then I found these cute pumpkins at Dollar Tree. And they're kind of like a satin or velour-like material. And they come in like four or five different colors. And they're really a nice size. So I bought like four or five of them, and I think I only added three to this store swag. So I just hot glued the pumpkins on. And you can add all kinds of things. Um, I went with the pumpkins, and then we added some of the fall maple leaves from Dollar Tree. I think you get like 50 leaves in a package. So we added some fall leaves too. We just hot glued them on. Let me know if you have any questions, and I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the kind comments that y'all have been leaving, and thank you to all those that were wishing me to get well. Y'all are so sweet, and I really appreciate it, and y'all are so thoughtful, so thank you. And here my daughter and I are just adding some of the fall leaves. We just hot glued them on, and then my son drilled a hole in the back of the yardstick so I could hang it up, and here it is hanging on my door. 
So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And thank you guys that always watch and always comment. Y'all are just the best. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I almost forgot to mention that in the description box below, I will add a materials list for you.